Hello and welcome to the PC Machine at Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. And on the Faster 7 series today, I'm going to show you how to set your automatic updates to manual. That way they're not always running in the background. And as I showed you in the previous video, running updates manually is very easy to do. So first thing we're going to do is go down to your start button like we have in the past couple videos. And we're going to type in services, S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S dot M-S-C. And then up here at the top, you're just going to go ahead and right click on services and click run as administrator. Now this is going to bring up an entire list of all the services running in the background. Uh, well, they'll say started if they're running in the background, but all the services available for the Windows operating system. What we're looking for is Windows Update. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the W's, and I'm going to look for Windows Update, and here it is. And right now it says it's started in manual. Yours will be set to started and automatic. What we're going to do instead of doing automatic is we're going to right click on this and select Properties. When the properties window comes up, just select the startup type from manual and go down to, I mean, I'm sorry, from automatic and go down to manual and then select apply and then select OK. And on the left hand side, go ahead, upper left hand corner, I'm sorry, go ahead and click stop and that will stop the update service. Now, if I go back down to my start menu, for those of you who are concerned about disabling automatic updates, go down to the start menu, type in Windows Update like we did in the previous video. Go ahead and right click on it, select run as administrator. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna automatically start the service back up when I select check for updates. Now if I go back to the left hand side here, you'll see that if I refresh this list, or if I just click on a different service then click on Windows Update again, it says stop the service again. So it actually re-enabled the Windows Update and that's because I manually started my Windows Updates. Now that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And also, if you have any questions, swing by the forum. That's at uh, www.pcmichiana.com. And I'll uh, see you guys at the next tip.